All right, so we're going to end on, or we're going to work on ending punctuation. Um, so we've been really drilling the capitalization and those types of things. And now um, we're going to work on making sure we always have a, a punctuation at the end, whether it's a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. Um, so we are going to write the sentences with a period, a question mark, and an exclamation point. So, for example, a statement is a period. If I just say a statement like, this is a water bottle. That is a period. That is a statement. So they created, they use these words to create the sentence. There are rabbits in the field, period. Okay. Then you need to use um, the words to create a question. Are there rabbits in the field? And they used a question mark. Okay. If I'm asking a question, I'm going to use a question mark. Um, a lot of times we struggle with um, identifying if we should use a question mark. If it is something that someone has to answer, then it is a question mark. So are there rabbits in the field? That is something that someone can answer to. And so therefore it is a question. And then lastly, um, an exclamation, which is saying something with excitement or expression. So instead of saying there are rabbits in the field, it would say there are rabbits in the field. So they use an exclamation point to show expression. Okay, so I'm going to do one with you guys, and then you guys will do three, four, and five on your own at home. So I need to use these words to build a sentence um, to use for a period. So it looks like the water in the lake is cold. Period. That's a statement. But I could also say this with expression. Um, if something's cold, I could say the water in the lake is cold. I could use an exclamation point for that as well. So for um, the statement, the exclamation is going to be the same sentence worded the same. One's just going to have the period and one's going to have the exclamation point. Now I need to use these words to build a question. So I might say, is the water in the lake cold? And that is something that someone can answer to. So I have my statement, I have my question, and I have my exclamation point. Go ahead and do the rest of these on your own.